Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. In my previous video, I have discussed about what is a NAND gate, a 2 input NAND gate and a 3 input NAND gate. And in today's video, I am going to show you a demo of a 4 input NAND gate with two different ICs. One is CD4012, another is 7420. Both of these ICs are dual 4 input NAND gates. That is, each has two NAND gates inside with four inputs. Let us now have a quick look at the symbol and the truth table. This is the symbol of a 4 input NAND gate where A, B, C, D are the inputs and output y equal to a dot b dot c dot d complement that is the complement of logical multiplication of a b c and d in simple words it's a complement or inversion of a four input and gate now here is the truth table of a four input nand gate input a input b input c input d and output y we can see when any of the input or all the inputs are zero the output is one and in the only case when all the inputs are one the output is zero in case of an and gate it was just the inverse of this when any of the inputs or all the inputs were zero the output was zero and when all the inputs are one the output is one but it is exactly the opposite now we will see the pinout diagram of the two ic's that we are going to test today so one is 74 ls20 or 7420 ic and another is cd4012 ic if we look at the 7420 ic we can see the two nand gates for segment one pin number 1245 input pin number six is the output pin number three is no connection pin pin number 7 is the ground pin and for the second segment pin number 9 10 and 12 13 are input pins and pin number 8 is the output pin pin number 11 is the no connection pin and pin number 14 is the positive power supply pin for cd4012 the pin out diagram is different and in this the segment 1 input pins are 2 3 4 5 and 1 is output pin pin number 6 is no connection pin pin number 7 is the ground pin and for segment 2 pin number 9 10 11 12 are input pins pin number 13 is the output pin pin number 8 is no connection pin and pin number 14 is the positive power supply so we will build two different circuit to test these two ic's and then do the practical demo now let us have a look at the circuit diagram with 74 ls20 in 74 ls20 as we said the input pins are pin number 1 2 and 4 5 so we have connected four input switches that is switch A, switch B, switch C and switch D and connected them to the input pins and the other side of the switches are connected to the positive power supply. Each of the switches are connected with an LED that will show the input status. In switch A connected to LED A, switch B connected to LED B, switch C connected to LED C and switch D connected to LED D. So when we press the switches, the corresponding LED will glow. When the LEDs glow, the input will be high and when we release the switch, the LEDs will not glow and the input will be low or zero. All the four input pins are grounded with four pull down resistances these pull down resistances are used to prevent the fluctuation of output when there is no input and pin number six output pin is connected to another led that will show the output status when the output is high this led will glow and when the output is low this led will not glow this led is connected via a current limiting resistance here and these four leds are connected via another current limiting resistance here pin number seven is connected to the negative power supply and pin number 14 is connected to the positive power supply so this is the circuit with 74 ls20 and with cd4012 the circuit is a little different because the input pins are different and the output pin is different than 7420 ic so we have changed the input pins to pin number 2345 and the output pin is changed to pin number 1 rest of the circuit is same now we will move on to the practical demo with these two ic's so here are the two ic's that we are going to demo today one is 74 ls20 or 74hc20 or 7420 ic Another is CD4012 or 4012 IC. Both of these ICs are dual 4 input NAND gates and both of these have 14 pins. If we start counting the pins, here is the notch at the left side and from the left side of the notch, we start counting the pins, pin number 1 to pin number 7 and pin number 8 to pin number 14. In this IC also, pin number 1 to pin number 7 and pin number 8 to pin number 14. As we have seen in the circuit, in this IC, pin number 1 to input, 4, 5 input, 6 output and in this IC, pin number 1 output pin number 2345 input pin number 6 is no connection pin number 7 is ground and pin number 14 is positive power supply in this ic also pin number 7 is the ground pin and pin number 14 is the positive power supply pin number 3 is no connection pin so we will build the circuit accordingly let us now move on to the prototype first we will check cd4012 and then we will check 74 ls20 ic 
This is the prototype that we have built based on the circuit. These four are input switches and these four are input status indicator. This is connected to this, this switch is connected to this, this switch is connected to this and this switch is connected to this. So whenever we press a switch, the corresponding LED will glow and it will send input to the IC. And this is the output status indicator. This will show the output status. Let us first put on the IC and then we will see. This is the IC CD4012 and we are putting it now on the breadboard. We have put the IC on the breadboard. So these four resistances are pull down resistances that is connected to the input pins. From pin number one, we have taken the output to this output LED and these switches are connected with the input pins to send the input. Initially, all the switches are in off position. So all the inputs are zero now. Now we will give the power supply of 5 volt. So this is the positive 5 volt power supply. And this is the negative 5 volt power supply. You see, as soon as we connected the power supply pins, the output LED started glowing. It is because when all the inputs to the NAND gate are zero, the output is one. Now we will match it with the truth table of a NAND gate. So 0000 is one, 0001 is one, 0010 is one, 0011 is one, 0100 is one, 0101 is 1, 0110 is 1, 0111 is 1, 0000 is 1, 1001 is 1, 1010 is 1, 1110 is 1, 1101 is 1, 1101 is 1, and 1111 is 0. So, this CD4012 IC satisfies the truth table of a NAND gate. When all the inputs are high, the output is low and when any of the input is low, the output is high. And when all the inputs are low, the output is also high. So this was the demo with CD4012 IC and now we will test it with 7420 IC. That needs a little modification in the prototype. So let us prepare the prototype accordingly and then I will show the demo with 7420 IC. So we have made the changes according to the IC7420. The input pins are changed to pin number 1, 2 and 4, 5. Let us first put on the IC on the breadboard and then I am showing you. See as soon as we put on the IC, the output LED started glowing because as I mentioned earlier, if all the inputs of the NAND gate are zero, the output is high. So we have changed the input pins to pin number 1, 2 and pin number 4, 5. The output is connected with pin number 6. These four are the pull down resistances connected with the input pins and these input switches and these input status indicators are same as previous. Now let us match it with the truth table of the NAND gate. So 0000 is 1, 0001 is 1, 0010 is 1, 0011 is 1, 0100 is 1, 0101 is 1, 0110 is 1, 0111 is 1, 1000 is 1, 1001 is 1, 1010 the output is high then also. So that was the demo of four input NAND gates with two ICs. If you have any confusion about this, please feel free to ask in the comments. And if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel RG Innovations. In the next video, I will show how to use NAND gate as a universal gate. That is how a NAND gate can be converted into AND gate, OR gate and NOT gate. So up to this in today's video, we will meet again in our next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care. Have a nice time. Thank you.